Here's another stair building code that can be confusing, but hopefully by the time you're done watching the video, it will not be anymore. And it has to do with the stair treads and risers and the difference, the maximum allowable difference by most building codes is going to be three eighths of an inch difference. Now I will put a reference to the building code uh, books or one of the building code books where I got this from. And remember that not uh, all building departments around the world, these videos are watched all over the world, they are not always going to be the same, but they might be close. So for example, our maximum distance is going to be 3 eighths of an inch between the smallest measurement and the largest measurement for treads and risers. In our first example, we have six risers. Four of them are seven inches. One is six and seven eighths, and the other is seven and an eighth. And the smallest riser is six and seven eighths. The tallest one, seven and an eighth. The difference is a quarter of an inch. A situation like this would be acceptable because the small difference between the smallest and the tallest is only a quarter of an inch. Here's another situation that would also be acceptable. We now have a seven and a quarter inch riser at the top, making it the tallest one. The difference between six and seven eighths and seven and a quarter is three eighths of an inch, so we're still fine here. However, if we raise this one to seven and three eighths of an inch, we now have a half inch difference between the smallest and the tallest riser. And this, of course, would be a situation that wouldn't be acceptable to most building departments. Now, the same principle applies to the steps. Maximum difference between the smallest, smallest and the largest. In this case here, we have a half of an inch. Something like this is not going to be acceptable by most building departments. However, a situation like this probably will. So if we take our smallest tread width or depth and the largest, we have 3 eighths of an inch difference. So each step can be off a little bit just as long as the, as the difference between the smallest and the largest is not more than 3 eighths of an inch. So I hope that makes sense. Now the biggest problem for something like this is usually going to occur at the bottom or the top of a stairway or a landing. And that's going to be because someone has added a different sized material to the bottom or the top. For example, you might add, um, you might be remodeling your home and then you decide to add three quarters of an inch of tile to the floor. And now you have a three quarter inch difference between the stair steps. Or you might choose to install treads um, that are a half inch thick on the top of your existing steps, creating a problem again at the bottom or the top of the stairway. So most building inspectors check these areas first because they're they're familiar with that and now you are also so hopefully this makes sense and if it doesn't maybe watch the video a couple of times and uh, feel free to leave a question in the comment area if you have something that's a little confusing and i will answer it as soon as possible